Hey gang, Drex here from DrexFactor.com with a review of Ultra Knobs from Ultrapoi. I think it's safe to say that in the past few years there have been three holy grails of the glow spinning world. Cheap programmable Poi, good LED contact Poi, and light up handles in a small form factor. Ultra Knobs are Ultrapoi's solution to the latter quest. I'm going to roll down their features, pros and cons, and finally my overall impressions of them. Before we dive in, I just want to take a moment to give a shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Spinballs, and Ultrapoi for making the videos on this channel possible. You can visit them all on the web by following the links down in the description of this video. Now, on with the show. So to start off, Ultra Knobs are really two pieces that fit together and make a light-up knob. There's a housing, which I believe is made of silicone and is in a form factor similar to palm grips or PX3 handles. The other part is a piece that contains the battery and LEDs and it fits into a cavity on the bottom of the housing. The handle actually has a pretty clever two-chamber design where there are two cavities that nest just next to each other. The first is where you tie off your tether and the second is where the LED assembly fits. The LED assembly is a flat disc that includes the battery, lights, and circuitry. The battery is rechargeable and takes a micro USB cable. It slides into the housing cavity and has two ends that stick out slightly to either side that you can use to push it into the cavity without triggering the lights. You press the bottom side of the LED assembly to turn the light on and to change modes. Each mode basically starts with a different blinking or strobe pattern and you can select submodes of each by holding down the button for a second while the next submode is accessed. To turn them off, you hold down the button for three seconds or basically until it shuts off and then you take your finger off of the button. All told, these are pretty simple but super useful. They can be added to practice, glow, or fire poi very easily. Just like many other styles of handles, the weight can be changed by adding or subtracting washers to the first cavity of the housing. Overall, they're just slightly wider than the standard PX3 palm grip or Delphine form factor, and they do feel just slightly bigger, but not in a way that's uncomfortable or has any effect on how functional they are. So let's drill down some pros and cons. Pros. These things are surprisingly bright for being so small. I've been on the hunt now for a while for a set of glow knobs that were bright enough that they were usable with fire poi, specifically for gunslingers. I'm happy to say that these totally fit the bill, making the handle visible against a flame as you spin. Second, it's a minor thing, but these frankly just feel really slick and professional. I've played with other light-up handle solutions that involve either hacking off the shelf components or 3D printing, and to me they always feel just a little bit janky. These feel like they were designed top to bottom with a professional performer in mind, and I really like that. So what about cons? Well, if there's one major flaw to the design, it's the button. It's supposed to be set up in such a way that the entire bottom of the LED assembly should work as the button, and any point you press on it should trigger the LEDs. In practice, though, there are some spots on the bottom that don't appear to engage the circuitry at all, and it's difficult to tell where you should be pressing at any given time. I'm told that a version 2.0 is on the way that fixes this problem, but I haven't had a chance to play with them yet. The second con is that, near as I can tell, there is no lock mode for the handle. That is, there's no way to set it to ignore input. I frequently run into situations in which I'll do two two poi one hand tricks and I'll accidentally change the mode of the lights without meaning to because one handle will trigger the other by pressing into it. So with all that said, what's my impression of these? I love them. As I've been playing more and more with gunslingers, finding a decent glow handle solution was a huge priority for me, and these totally fit the bill. They're also a great fit for Ultrapoi's Vortex Poi, and I love the way that they highlight anti-brids and other head tracing moves, in addition to lighting up the full tether. If Ultrapoi can fix up the issues with the button and create a lock mode for the handles, I'd say these are pretty close to perfect. Ultra knobs are available for $20 per handle at ultrapoi.com. This is also one of those vendors that I have a promo code through, so if you use the code DREXFACTOR with a zero instead of an O at checkout, you can get a discount on your order. It also helps me out. I've really been enjoying these handles. Ultrapoi, you did a great job designing them. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy the flow. Peace. Hey there, thanks so much for watching my video. If you got anything out of it, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel to help it grow. Special thanks to all of my wonderful backers on Patreon. You guys are the ones that make these videos possible. If you're not a current backer and would like to sign up to support my channel, please visit patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi. Thanks so much in advance.